Okay, so our final resting posture in yoga is Shavasana. And Shavasana is also known as corpse pose. Now you can lie on your floor, which is fabulous, or of course you can lie on your couch or you can lie on your bed. And as you recline back into Shavasana, you might like the weight of the blanket on your belly again. The toes and the knees are away from each other as the hips relax. The chin's gently tucked so the back of the neck is long. And to open through the chest, you can have the palms up and the arms away, but if there's any shoulder discomfort, you might like to rest your hand on your belly or just by your side a little closer. And you're going to close your eyes down. And we're going to come right back to where we started, to that deep diaphragmatic breath. And the idea of Shavasana is that we give the body time and we give it oxygen so that it can begin to repair. So you've asked your body to be strong today and you've asked it to be flexible. And now we give all of those cells in the body the oxygen that they need so they can do that work. So start by giving your toes and feet a little wriggle and just allow the muscles in your feet to relax. Perhaps make some small movements in your ankles and allow the ankles to loosen. I want you to feel and visualize your calf muscles just relaxing away from the bone and then softening through the shins. Loosen the muscles around your knees. Feel the back of your thighs relaxing. And the top of your thighs relaxing. And then notice your hips. We did lots of work and strengthening in the hips. Don't try to hold your legs in place. Just allow the hips to let go as the knees fall away from each other. And now take your awareness to your lower back and see if you can find that beautiful natural movement of the lower back with the breath that we had right at the beginning. So as you inhale towards the belly, the belly rises and the lower back gently arches. And as you exhale, the belly retracts and the lower back lengthens. Keeping your awareness with the movement of your belly and your lower back. Finding that deep and nourishing diaphragmatic breath, which is actually our natural breath. And this movement of the back helps to move this richly oxygenated blood through all of your organs. And if you've got more oxygen in your bloodstream, you've got healthier cells. And if you've got healthier cells, you've got a healthier body. Relax your upper back down to the floor. And then release your chest and feel your upper back relax a little deeper. Soften the muscles through your arms. Loosening your elbows your wrists, and then gently wriggle your fingers. These tiny muscles and joints that work all day, every day, and just allow them to relax. And feel the back of your hands soften. And feel the palms of your hands soften. And now feel all of the muscles in your neck just letting go. Relax your jaw, tongue, lips, cheeks, and forehead. Release the scalp and allow your eyeballs to sink deeply down into the socket. Your body is heavy and your body is completely relaxed. 
Your breath is nourishing. Your heartbeat is slow and steady. And you've created the perfect environment for healing in your body right here. And just resting in silence in Shavasana. And now awakening your sense of hearing. Begin to listen for any noises around you. Listening and scanning. And begin to make some small movements in your body and stretch your whole body, take a whole body stretch in whichever way feels right for you today. And once you've stretched the whole body, just slowly coming back to a seated position. Bringing the hands together You bring the thumbs between the eyebrows, the thoughts of love and kindness, to the lips, the words of loving kindness, and to the heart, the actions of loving kindness. And I thank you. Namaste. I hope that you enjoyed moving your body today and that it's useful, and that it's something that you can perhaps do regularly. Thank you.